If you want to make some picks on your favorite sports, check out Underdog Fantasy's Pick'em Game where you choose higher or lower on between two to eight players and can win up to 325 times your entry. And using code ZERK when you sign up, you'll get up to $1,000 in bonus cash and a free pick. The whole thing wobbing. So we have the AKA promo and Season of Boom. Hopefully they released at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time on time. And we have the content schedule to go over. Now, I do want to give a shout out to Sonova Sam for being a part of the Nota Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. Turn notification bell on and comment down below. Nota Gang. Also, guys, Underdog just posted four more NFL Week 1 discount specials. You guys have until this upcoming Monday to use one of the four. And if you guys check out Underdog Fantasy right now using code ZERK, you'll get up to $1,000 in bonus cash and this Kelsey .5 yard free pick and only when you guys sign up using code zerk will you also get this dak prescott 0.5 passing yard special as well follow me over on twitter for my picks guys september is going to be insane on underdog i can't talk about it yet but real soon all right guys so starting off we have the content schedule for this week as you guys can see there are two ea streams wednesday morning at 10 30 and thursday morning at 10 30 a.m eastern aka in season of boom release three that's also hopefully in this video unless it's delayed by a couple of hours uh then we have preseason team of the week so yes we are getting preseason team of the week very excited for that last year team of the week was on wednesday so again i do believe that would be wednesday 1 30 p.m eastern uh that's probably what the wednesday morning 10 30 stream is going to be is the reveals for the preseason team of the week uh, i will tell you guys by the way i tend to do like a team of the week prediction video every single week so I will probably do a preseason team of the week uh, prediction video tomorrow if you guys want to see that. We'll probably see like a reveal or two tomorrow night as well at around like 7 p.m. Eastern time. So be on the lookout there. And then Campus Heroes. That's going to be dropping on Thursday at 1.30 p.m. Again, Thursday morning, 10.30 that's gonna be all the reveals wednesday night at 7 p.m we'll likely get a reveal or two for campus heroes and then legends on saturday friday night we get those reveals 7 p.m all right guys so as you can see we have the new season of boom and ak cards now live it was a little delayed about 10 minutes as you guys can see though two ltds we have dexter lawrence 71 speed 78 excel 88 blockchain 87 power move uh his baked in demoralizer but it's 2 ap so yeah 2 ap for that all right uh does not get inside stuff just so you know i was curious to see if he would get that uh dj Moore right here looks like runoff is his baked in ability 86 speed 88 excel six feet tall good route running good catching uh he has 85 juke move 80 break tackle 85 change direction by the way i do plan on doing a gameplay today over on zerk 2 make sure you guys go and sub over there my second channel that's where you guys will see all the gameplays over there uh dj Moore looks pretty good Second best wide receiver that dropped today, though. Uh, then we also have Travis Etienne, who has return man. 87 speed, 86 excel, 86 change of direction, 215 pounds. Uh, the card looks really good. Honestly, looks really good. CJ2K, though, I'm taking CJ. He gets the AK evasive. If you haven't played with him or against him, it's worth it. Then we have Trevon Diggs, uh, 86 speed, 85 excel, 79 man, 86 zone. I'll tell you guys right now, Trayvon Diggs cards, they always just play amazing, okay? No bias, not just because I'm a Cowboys fan. Diggs cards... They just play good. Six foot two. Uh, also does have a 57 block shed, uh, 63 hip power, 70 tackling as well. Gets lumberjack baked in for one AP. Okay, don't really care too much about that, to be honest. Uh, and then we also have Josh Uche, who is also pretty good. 85 speed, 80 excel, 85 block shed, 87 finesse move. Does get baked in swim club right there for one AP. And then finally, we have Taylor Moten. Uh, that is not Taylor Moten. That is uh, Quincy Williams right there. Finally, we have Taylor Moten, who is just an offensive lineman. But, hey, it's a right tackle right here. He has 83 strength on him, uh, 87 pass block, 85 run block, 325 pounds. He also does have 63 speed baked in screen protector so that's season of boom and then we also have the aka cards guys which the aka cards are really really good as well vernon davis 87 speed on him 88 excel good route running good catching probably the best receiving tight end in the game definitely the best receiving tight end now also uh the thing is right he has this right here persistent it makes it harder to knock him out of the zone a lot of people are very confused why persistent on the aka cards because they already get x factors that start on well, basically now he'll stay in the zone longer as you guys can see right here as well with him being a vintage ltd it's only one ap for the x factors and then it stays on for four plays but with persistent i'm not sure how much longer it's gonna stay on maybe like five plays uh tight end apprentice red zone threat spin cycles interesting there as well i guess with all these you probably want to go with like tight end apprentice get the extra couple routes uh all those spin cycle 
Honestly, that, that sounds kind of crazy. I can't lie. Spin cycle might be kind of crazy. Kyle Juszczyk, 85 speed, uh, 82 excel, 88 run blocking. Really good fullback. If you care about fullbacks, gets AK honorary lineman, wrecking ball, and run protector. Stronger protection versus quick run block shed moves. And it's zero AP. Okay. Then we also got Mean Joe Green, who does have a Vintage Champion. And the normal, again, the Vintage, just one more play, you get it. And then also, uh, it's one less AP. 81 speed, 84 Excel, 85 blocks, 87 power move. Card's really, really good. Yeah, that's what I was concerned about. Double or nothing and uh, Unstoppable Force. So he does get Unstoppable Force right there, but it is not AKA. So if it was AKA, that'd be a lot different. AKA, double or nothing. I mean, it's going to make him better as a pass rusher, but... It's not as crazy as having Unstoppable Force. Unstoppable Force make him pretty much unguardable. So actually, having AK, Double or Nothing, and Run Stuffer, not really crazy for uh, Mean Joe Green. And then, guys, we have Maserati Marv. This is the card I want to do gameplay of today. 6'3", 87 speed, 87 XL. Good route running, good catching. Uh, it's the best wide receiver in the game. 85 juke move. That's what I wanted to see. 76 truck, 87 change directions. Crazy. 82 spin, 83 break tackle. And then, yeah, aka double me and wide receiver apprentice. 3 AP. Wow. 3 AP, but you get it on for three plays instead of four. But, I mean, you're basically just going to get automatic aggressive catches. So, those are the AKA cards, guys, and the Season of Boom. Now, did we get any sort of new XP? Let's take a look. We should get, by the way, Week 3 objectives tomorrow. Uh, looks like we did not get anything new there. Season of Boom Field Pass. Uh, am I done with it? No, I'm not done with it just yet. So, I still have a little bit more to do right here. You can see we didn't get anything. Actually, we did. We got some head-to-head -head stuff. So, we got some head-to-head -head stuff right there uh, for Season of Boom. And then solos for Season of Boom. Shouldn't be anything new here. Also, yeah, just like you guys, I don't have my Christian Watson. All right? I made an entire rant video this morning. I don't got to go into the details everything again. Yes, we're still missing content. No, EA did not say anything yet today. As you guys can see, uh, we have a bunch of special offers. We BAK Spotlight Bundle. It is your choice, a two of your choice, a one to two 79 pluses. Uh, you also get 283 plus overall current release AKs and two AK tokens. You can see right here the odds on them, not fantastic. Uh, that's for sure. And then we have the Boom LTD Opportunity Pack, which is 178 plus, 180 plus overall season boom player, and 180 plus overall season boom player, or 87 overall LTD. You can see the odds on it 30 percent chance of an 87 now here's the thing when it comes to that right the 30 percent chance of the ltd are the odds actually better on this or is it like similar to what it was last week because that's just ltd normally it would say like 86 plus and tell us the odds on that which that would be around 51 maybe 52 percent so we actually don't know. Uh, and again, we are missing a lot of our content, okay? We're missing rookie premieres. We're missing so, so much. I'm going to tell you guys right now, we also have this, the second boom fantasy pack, whatever. If you decide to not open up any packs right now because of the fact that we are missing so much content, I completely understand that. I'm going to open this up just to showcase it because, again, this is my job, okay, as a content creator, to showcase this. If you're upset with EA and you don't want to open up any special offers till we get our stuff, I completely understand that. I am literally only opening this up because I know you guys want me to open it up. You want to see the content. So I'm going to get into it. Let's see how good it is for me as we do get a 78 overall Khalil Shakir. Oh, we got one. We got a champ. 85 Cam Chancellor. And the final card, 80 overall Luke Musgrave. So uh, we got Cam Chancellor. That was solid, right? Uh, he is 239K. So... Was that worth it? I'd say for me it was. And then we also do just have like regular packs as well, guys, with Season of Boom. Uh, we have the Boom Fantasy packs. We have the regular Boom packs. We have the AK packs as well. And then training. So the 76 plus, it did go up to 105 training because obviously now we have 86 overall champions, 87 overall limited. So things adjust here as it gets 76 overall Zion McCollum. Uh, we'll do a couple of regular packs. All right, we'll do some Boom Fantasies, do a couple of AKs. We'll take a look at the auction house, see exactly what these cards are going to be going for but obviously yeah they're they're gonna be decently expensive as we get 85 mike evans and an 82 overall uh jacoby myers okay i mean hey that's that's uh pretty good that definitely seemed pretty good now in terms of should you just sell these cards you should probably just sell them to be honest but i'm only quick selling because i want to do a couple more train packs we'll save that 85 mike evans though and we'll sell him so all right uh Pack odds looking pretty solid. I will definitely say that as you get 76 overall right there. Let's skip it. 
Thought maybe we get lucky. 78, 76. And we also just get another not so good pack right there. So we'll do one more Boom Fantasy. We'll open up like uh, maybe two AKAs. I'll do a couple more training packs. And then we'll take a look at the auction house. Like I said, Xerxy 2. Definitely plan on doing a gameplay today. So follow me over there for that gameplay. College Ultimate Team 2. If you guys follow me over on Xerxy CFB, we did just get the content schedule reveals. You get 82 Derek Carr. We'll take that for sure. And there is some new content coming over on college football as well. Uh, we'll quick sell the Derek Carr just to get a little bit more training points. Let's do, yeah, we'll, we'll just get into the AKs. Let's do like two AKA packs. We'll do a couple training packs and take a look at the prices. Marvin Harrison's probably going to be pretty expensive. Uh, we get 79 overall. Mean Joe, 73. All right. Uh, one more AKA here. Let's see if I can get lucky and uh, maybe get like Vernon Davis or something. Vernon Davis is going to be so expensive. Uh, we get another 79 Mean Joe Green. All right, let's do a couple of these right here. Mean Joe is probably going to be decently expensive as well. I think he's the best DT in the game. Uh, the LTDs for, you know, Season of Boom. DJ Moore and Dexter Lawrence, they're going to be expensive too. I mean, really, it kind of comes down to what type of DT you want if you're going to go with Mean Joe or if you're going to go with the Dexter. Like I said, Mean Joe's AKX factors, they're not that crazy. If you had Unstoppable Force, different story, but he doesn't have Unstoppable Force. Uh, he just has the double or nothing, which is still good to have on, but it's like, that's just a normal ability, right? That's nothing crazy there. We get 76 overall, David Bell. We'll do like two more here. I'll save a little bit of training points because, yeah, if I'm doing a gameplay, Marvin Harrison gonna uh, need a little bit of training points, put some abilities on him. Final training pack, and then we'll see what's going on here. Don't believe any glitches. It was just slightly delayed, but no glitches. Very surprising. Oh, also, somebody just tweeted me, guys, and I think you can now buy levels. Can you buy levels? Okay, maybe it's only up to level 30. Somebody just tweeted me, though, and you could buy up to level 30. So it looks like up to level 30, you guys can actually go ahead and purchase levels on the field pass if you want to. All right, guys, so let's take a look here and see exactly what the prices are looking like. Uh, that's interesting. Oh, they're not 88s. They're 87s. Listen, all right, I was on College Ultimate Team this morning. Overalls are different over there. AKA, as you guys can see, uh, Mean Joe Green, 400K. Marvin Harrison, 515. He's worth every penny of that, honestly, right now. Kyle Juszczyk, 620. Uh, Vernon Davis, 1.2 million. He just sold. Holy, that is, that is insane. Uh, Season of Boom, how much is Diggs? Diggs is coming to my team. I promise you that he's coming to my team. Uh, we have Travis Etienne going for 380. Where is Diggs? 480. Understandable. Wow, Dexter Lawrence, 500K? That's actually surprisingly low for Dexter Lawrence. And then DJ Moore, 588 as well. So with that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure to drop a like video. And of course, that sub button down below, aka Season of Boom content schedule. A lot of stuff going on here. I don't think I missed anything. Uh, solos, field pass, yada, yada. I think we're all pretty much covered. Oh, by the way, CD Lamb just got extended. We are back. And if you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.